Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I'm an artist working here in Indianapolis. I'm going to show you my house. got my education at Cranbrook Academy of Art and I've been teaching and working in the arts ever since. Uh, it's been very important to me through my education to live with the work that I, uh, I do and that, uh, that other people do that I admire. Uh, so I'll play, this is my son's playroom and you can see it's a mess but we even have art in this room. Um, you can even use your own war artwork to make your room a special place, someplace unique. Uh, this is my son's bedroom, and uh, we mural paint painted this room so that it uh, seems sort of like the wild things. You might recognize some of the imagery. Uh, my wife and I are both art training the arts, and, uh, and we've tried to build our house. And uh, some of the things that are around us uh, remind us of the things that we really like about our work. Um, the work on the far wall is mine. The horns for the <coughs> art sculpture I made uh, about uh, trying to make sound three-dimensional. Um, uh, the coffee table is something I, a project I made with some students. Uh, the Cardinals are something I made for Indianapolis on Massachusetts Avenue. Um, if you happen to go by there, you might have seen me sitting on a guardrail. Once that exhibition was over, I made something new on it. Uh, again, we, uh, we even make a relief puzzle wall uh, just to make a really interesting space in our dining room. We, uh, we've made every part of this house uh, so that it's the way that we want it. Um, a good friend of mine helped me with this mural wall. I worked in collaboration, which means to work together on a project. And, uh, and we came up with an idea to make this for our, uh, for our home. Uh, and it's a nice, nice thing for this room because we also use it as an office. So language can be used for art making. It can, um, also, uh, it's also a necessary tool when you're trying to um, teach or get money for by grant making. Uh, there's a lot of other work that goes into art making besides just making the art. Uh, though that is the most fun part about being an artist. Uh, you do sacrifice some things to art making, like uh, taking over a bedroom in your house to become a studio. Um, your parents might not enjoy that, but uh, it'd be a good fun thing to do with uh, with your space if you have some extra, extra room. Um, I, uh, I do a lot of work. I, uh, I take work from other artists who don't know certain techniques. I am building a big farmer for uh, artists in Brooklyn. Um, I also have some of my own projects here. Um, bust of my son, that will be a full-size, uh, life-size sculpture. And uh, the most recent project that I'm working on is for the new airport. And, and it'll look like a chair that can fly. So like I said, art can be made of stuff uh, around you. Ideas for my work comes right from uh, my backyard sometimes. The motor's located on the Washington Street Bridge between the museum and the zoo. It's right here behind the zoo. So make sure that if you get to the zoo with your parents, that you come around back and, uh, and see the loader. Uh, there are four distinct parts of the loader. There's the engine compartment, the cab, the arm and the bucket. Each one of those pieces comes apart and the whole sculpture will fit in four pickup fits. You have four pickup fits. Um, a standard size pickup. And it's held together by about 20 bolts. And there are a couple of them there to show you that that uh, that when planning something big or making a project, not only do you have to just go out and make it, you have to think about how it's going to be made, how will it go together, how will you move it, and uh, what it'll look like when we're done.